So let's make ourselves a Father's Day card. I've been looking on uh, Pinterest and I've got some ideas. Um, so I'm going to start with my basics, which is my square. And I'm going to move the square down a bit. I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to size it at what I want. So I want my card to end up being a 5 by 7. So I'm going to do 10 by 7 and lock it and actually yep that works I know you can see these circles it's because they're perfectly there so I want to make sure they don't get messed up and whatnot so just ignore my circles right now so I will just close my circles off so you don't get bothered by them okay so now I'm gonna get my score line for my card I need to hive oops sorry resize it at seven which is the length of my card then I'm going to select all align and center now even though it's hard to see because Let's change the card base anyways to cream. There you go. You can see it better now. Now I'm going to select all that and attach it so it stays together. Now for this card, I need another shape. I need another layer. So let's grab the square. And we're gonna resize the square so that it fits the exact half. So that's gonna be five wide, seven high for this size of card. Now I want to select all and I'm gonna align it to the right and then I'm gonna align it top. I'm not going to group it or anything because actually this bottom layer I'm just going to let it disappear for a while. We'll get back to that bottom layer. Now this layer let's just make it gray or lighter gray. I once again my mouth is so dry I'm going to have to go get a drink. A, um, I'm once again going to get a score line once again I'm going to uh, resize that score line to seven I am now going to select everything and I'm going to align that center again so now your score line is in the exact center of your five by seven card I am now going to go over to my layers panel, find that score line, which is right here. It should be, as long as everything's highlighted on your mat, it should be highlighted on your layers panel. I'm going to click the score line and I'm going to change it to a cut. And then, without touching anything, because I don't want anything to move, I'm just going to select all and attach. Now what's going to happen is when we go to make this card, this paper is going to cut right in half. Now this is where my little circles come in. You can cut these if you choose to. I'm probably just going to use these as a visual for myself. For, let's bring it to the front for just a visual so I can get a rough idea of how my shirt's gonna look so I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna cut it or not so now we need some form of a collar 
and I'm thinking I'm gonna do that with a triangle now a collar comes to a point so let me just make that big enough actually I just thought of an idea I'm going to put those buttons and I'm going to group them in there so they don't move on me. And I won't put that back to the back. First, before we do any collar, go up to your card with the triangle. Ungroup if you grouped your buttons with your triangle with your shirt click the shirt and just the triangle no there's too many things here okay first you're gonna have to detach the your shirt now you're gonna click the shirt and the triangle yes and click slice And remove that little piece there we go we're gonna remove this one too now I'm going to put my um, cut line back in so I do want it to come forward so I think actually the best way of doing that is probably just going to put that to the back yep so let's attach that if you wanted to you could cut that it's not a big deal that's up to you it's not bothering me it'll probably disappear here shortly anyways now that's the little top part of a collar so let me just go back to my reference so that would be like the triangle part here right and now we need to do looks like I could do it with a couple of rectangles Let's get a square. Let's sort of a rectangle. Let's turn it so that it actually lines up I guess I think with that cut and then you can make it right to the corner like that okay and now I'm going to attach it to the gray layer and I've got stuff grouped again ah. detach the cut line get your rectangle get your gray layer and slice but this time all you're going to remove is that. Oh, sorry. Put this over here. You got to put this back together. So let's put that back together by welding it. There you go. Let's 
arrange that back to the front. And I think we have a collar. Now for the other side, I'm just going to duplicate it. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to flip it and see if that helps. Oh, yep, that works. So there, we now have our collar. And that looks like, that does look like a collar. Now I'm going to click on that because I want to move that back. Or move what to the front. Okay, I'll move that to the front. move that to the back there we go that's what I wanted so now this is getting to look like a shirt oh so, uh, that we've got the collar done I want to do a pocket so let's get another square and resize it and this time I'm just gonna eyeball my pocket and I'm gonna put my pocket here well, it looks like a pretty good shirt. Could even fancy up the pocket a bit by also cutting a strip. So get another square. Resizing it. Very small. Let's recolor it just so I know I'm going to be cutting that on a different color. Uh, Let's just do a blue, I guess. And we're just going to size it so that it's the same width as this one. So the best way of doing it is to come up here and do a copy and paste. We had it pretty close. And then I'm going to collect the two so I can align it to the top and I'm going to just for purposes group them now when I go to cut this I'm actually going to do it so the I'm going to go to color sync I want it so should I do the pocket Yeah, I'm going to do the pocket matching the shirt. So I'm just going to drag it up here. And the collar is going to match the little strip on that pocket. Okay? Now, before we go any further, let's stop and save. Let's call this man's shirt card so that's a lot of work that you really don't want to lose um, yeah it'd be pretty upsetting so I'm going to select everything and group it so it stays together Mm, no, I'm going to first go back. I've got to make sure that my back and our score line are attached. And then I can move them all the way to the back. There we go. Now we can select everything in group. <clears throat> Now this is going to be the very front of our card. We're going to attach it so that it actually will be an opening shirt. Underneath, which is this part that we had made disappear which we just made our first, first layer disappear 
by attaching the main the first group and it just brought everything away I can bring it back it just removes it from your sight of vision or right at the moment so you can concentrate on something else or because you yeah because you're working on something else so this was the base of our card mm, sorry I'm getting really really dry mouth here today when we put that card on it's gonna open into this card I want to include a shape because I'm making another pocket so of course I'm going to include a shape okay I went and took a peek to see approximately the size of your standard gift card and they're telling you me that it's approximately two and a half by three and a half so it would be like that size because what I want to do is make a pocket for that gift card of course I don't need it to be at three and a half high so I'm gonna bring it down and 1.75 I think would be significant enough I hope and I'm just gonna place that about there but I do want just like the pocket in the front put a little extra tabby on it to decorate it and it would need to be 2.5 and I'm just going excuse me let's see what 0.5 will be excuse me and just for visual uh, well I need to cut it separate anyways I'm going to do this and I'm going to layer it so that it actually is a little bigger so you know what I'm going to change this one change the height of it to two and this one I'm gonna keep the width I want unlock always helps so 0.75 and then I going to align them so I don't want to end up with a bump for that so just align them on the top and see what you think I think this one needs to still be a little bit longer or taller so I'm gonna go 275 I like that better so that's gonna be a pocket so that you can place a gift card in it for dear old dad grandpa and <clears throat> the way it will be presented let me get my group is this this would be on the front of your card and this is the cut you have buttons but you can only secure them to one side remember and then when he opens up this flap there will be a gift card in here now let's remember click save I want to add some text happy Father's Day. I'm going to align that centered. 
and I'm going to bring it down. I, do I want it on the inside or out? I think I'm going... So I need to sink a couple of things here. I need to sink my inside pocket. And that part of my pocket. I do think my Happy Father's Day is going to go in here. And I want it so it fits on that pocket. And I'm actually going to change that to a right. So that will be written to that layer by selecting both and aligning it to the top. So that's going to be our inside pocket. Now I'm going to bring our top layer back up because of course we need to write something on it. So since we have Happy Father's Day going to be on the inside, um, which we write on the outside. I don't know if we could fit it. I'm sure we can get it to fit. It's going to be once again aligned, centered. Might as well use the same font. It's already set up as a writing font. I have to unlock it to make it work. Or we can actually... If you double click your writing when you do it, you can bring up the box that you print in and that. So it works good that way. So let's try that. See if we can get it to fit. Oh yeah, it's going to fit. Fits just like that. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So now I got to do some ungrouping or we need to if you're going to put that word there. And another ungroup. Let's move that out of the way. Let's bring this down so we can find, or better yet, find your words and we are going to bring it up front and we're going to with the shift key we're well the up key the arrow up key whatever it is we're going to click on that square for the pocket we're going to attach the two. Now it will write on that. We're going to bring the pocket ta the pocket detail, I guess, back. And we're going to realign those. And group them. So when we go, let's first let's save our project. And let's check it out and see how things are going to lay out. And the side way you can also check and see if there's any mistakes. That's the cut. That's going to be used with marker that will be used with marker there's our collars there's our pocket decals and there's our buttons if we choose to cut them 
and there's our top panel with our score line so everything there is perfectly done um, I'm gonna go make this card I just thought of something that we could do which would make it easier for opening I could add could 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 should add another score line Ha! Huh, height that's seven mm -hmm -hmm. bring it in you could do another score line there And then this way, it would be easier to open. If you put one on each side. So I'm just going to do that quickly here. And I'm just going to do it again on this side, eyeballing it seeing if I got it pretty close and then I'm going to attach that too and just for visual I'm just going to move it back one I'm going to just move it to the back and then I'm going to move that to the back and there's our card well there there is our card and it even has little score lines on either side so that when well that's actually pretty good lining up I lined it up right with the pocket without realizing it so that when they go to open the flap it will open a lot easier once they open the flap inside oh, let's do this okay now I have everything grouped let's just move it out of the way because once you open your card this is what you're gonna have inside um, I'm gonna go off now put mine together and then I'll show it to you guys hi guys okay so I have my pieces cut I've actually done one already and put it together um, so this is what it's gonna look like and you're gonna have the ability to put a sentiment on the inside and open up that part and it says I think it's so cool just remember cut your pocket for the gift card a bit bigger I didn't uh, I didn't size mine quite big enough um but yeah and if you don't, don't want it to be the two layers don't just put it on a five by seven card don't make the big um the big base so let's go and i'm just gonna put that over there we'll put this together i'm just using my my uh atv glider gun just get my little pieces here I've got the little tiny strip that goes on the one uh, pocket. And it just attaches right up to the top corner of the one pocket. And just, there we go wipe any excess glue off and that is the little tiny pocket now we'll get the one for the bigger pocket and just put some adhesive on it whatever adhesive you feel best for I like this glider gun it's just quick easy simple dimple and do the same thing line it up to the corner wipe off the excess 
and that's that one. Now for the shirt. Let's put the collars on. So let's match them up so we know which collar goes with what. That one's going to go on that side. So this one obviously then this side. So I'll put some adhesive on it. So I can line it back up once again. And it's there. So it is a simple card. It's cute too. Um, like I said, I, I would do up a sentiment that I'd have let the Cricut write for me because I don't like my printing. And I'd put one on the main card base myself. I would probably just make a smaller, um, I don't know, cream white, oh I'm sweating, uh, style thing. Okay, so now to put this pocket on, you need to line some things up so you can get a rough idea of where you're going to get it because you got your buttons to put on too. So I'm doing there. Now you can make it so that this pocket can be actually used. You can put like a little note in there if you like by not taping down all four sides. I like the idea of putting like a little note in there. Put a little card in there that just says something sweet. Even if it's just one word. Get the excess glue off. Now we've got our buttons. I found because the buttons only get attached on one side that it was best to use the white glue. I laid my three buttons out. And then what I did with the fourth button, I took my middle button, I put glue just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit on one side. And then I attached my other button, the fourth one I told you to cut, actually. So that it was only attached a little bit. I don't want the whole thing glued together. I want you to have it so that some of it comes apart. Okay? Like you have a little a little flap. Get them to match up pretty good. You don't really want it to be seen that you have a button and a button. Now on the back of one of them, once again just a little tiny bit of glue just like so on one spot. And then lining up approx well not approximately but where you want it only on one side Shall it be glued? It's glued on both sides. You won't be able to open the card. So once again, get one of your buttons, whatever you're going to use. In this case, like I said, I end up just cutting out circles. I was going to use buttons. Then I thought I was going to cut some uh, full leather, but I couldn't find where I had it hidden. And I didn't want to wait forever to finish this video, so I went with just buttons that matched the collars. And do your other button. Make sure it's only the glue is only on the one shirt. Okay, you don't want any of the glue. You want a beta. Remove it and only the buttons are on one side. That's it. Okay?
Now the reason about that middle button is because if not, this card would just flip and flop like that. But now you can take the one side and you can actually, my hands are shaking, insert it in that middle button so that it stays closed. Okay? That's why I made you, or I suggested to do four buttons, not just three. Now get your main card, fold it along the score line, give it a good fold. If you're doing an insert, this is when I would do it. Now get your, so fold that, only put some glue on there. Or, or adhesive. I'm going to do adhesive. I don't know why I was going to do glue. Adhesive is so much faster. So I'm just going to run my strip on that little spot. And then you're going to line it up with the front of your card so that it's right, right, right. right against it. This part usually takes me forever. Nice story. Okay. And you're going to do the same with the other side. You're going to fold that score line up. And that's what it's for. And it's also to help open the shirt. But it gives you Oh, got a fly flying around me, bother me. Line that up. Run the tape down it. And line it up. And actually that one's lined up pretty good on me. Oh, that piece needs to stick down, it came up. There we go. And now you can open it. Okay, so just put adhesive on three edges um, as little as possible because you want to be able to fit that gift card in here. And then just stick it pretty much in the middle. I got extra adhesive off the edge here because, of course, I didn't put my whole strip width of adhesive down because I want it to leave as much room as possible. So once you get that done, you okay, so on here's the finished card. You can get a gift card in that part, which is really cool. Just remember to make it bigger than what I originally told you or suggest it and then you can put a sentiment on the inside here quick simple easy father's day card great idea uh card and gift in one i guess you would call it so stay tuned for many more different videos i'm gonna do one with explaining really getting down to explaining really about all the different kinds of vinyl that that we have available out there for usage um, I think there's a need to clarify the do's and don'ts with that. So I'm going to work on that here shortly. So anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe, please. Okay, button below, like my videos, drop in a comment, say hi, um, and please share them also. I'd love that. Um, oh, and don't forget the links below for doing shopping and whatnot. 
But uh, I'm out of here. You guys have a great day. Happy crafting.